Just to see how the Huffman code could be used, let's say we wanted to generate a code sequence for these symbols uh, as shown here using the variable length code we derived. So A2, the symbol A2 is just, um, is just a 1. Symbol A1 is a 0, 1, 1. A3 a 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and A1, again, is a 0, 1, 1. If, if we have an input sequence like this and we want to decode it, um, we just need to go look at the table from left to right. Um, the uh, code 0, 1, um, uh, 0, I'm sorry, 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, okay, that's the first group of bits, um, is a 3. Next we have a 0, 1, 1, which is a 1. We have uh, a single 1, which is a 2. Another single 1, a 2. And then a 0, 0, which is an A6. So it's unambiguous um, if you decode your uh, bit string like this. In terms of the average length of the co code, again, we just multiply the length of each code word times its probability. So we got point 0.3 here, 3. Point one, four point one, uh, five point oh six, and five point oh four, and that comes out to two point two bits. So two point two bits per um, per symbol. And again, we'll just to see if that's greater than the theoretical minimum, which it should be, we'll use our formula for computing the entropy of this image using that histogram. And I'll just fill that in. Comes out to be um, 2.14 um, uh, bits per pixel. Uh, here's another example, simple example with only four gray levels. Um, I won't go through it, but just show the answer. Um, here is the code that you would uh, generate, and the average length of that code is 1.9 bits. And again, you can calculate if that's greater than the entropy, which it should be, using this formula here. Okay, let's look at another uh, lossless coding method. This one's called arithmetic coding. Here we don't treat pixels as independent. We look at a sequence of values, let's say a sequence along a single row, and we assign a single code to that sequence. So the code will be a fractional number between 0 and 1. For example, 0 0.4731. So each symbol is assigned an interval on the real number line based on its probability of occurrence. The, and the code words are fixed length, namely four decimal digits. So here's an example. Um, let's say we have a set of symbols as shown up here and their probabilities. So what we do is we take the um, real number line from 0 to 1 as shown here and we divide it up into uh, intervals according to these probabilities. So for A1, A1 has probability 0.2, so we'll assign it the interval 0 to 0.2. A2 has probability 0.2, so it goes from 0.2 to 0.4. Um, A3 will go from 0.4 to 0.8, and A4 will go from 0.8 to 1.0. So if we start off with a message that has an A1 as the first element, that means our code word will, will have 
be somewhere in this interval of 0 to 0.2. Next we look at the second symbol, which in this case is an A2. So we expand this interval of 0 to 0.2 again um, using the same um, percentages. So 20% of the way from 0 to 0.2 is 0.04 and then 20% up from that is 0.08 and then up from that is I guess um, would be a 0.16. So if symbol A2 is our second symbol then um, we know now that our value is now between um, uh, point, uh, 0.04 and 0.08. And we keep going. So here is the final result for this message of these five symbols. Uh, let's go back to an arrow here. So we had five symbols. <clears throat> so we do this decomposition five times. And we, fi we find that the resulting sequence can be represented by any decimal um, number between 0.06752 and 0.0688. So for example, we could use 0.068. So the final code word is 0.068. Um, if we just look at the decimal digits, there's three decimal digits after the decimal point. So three digits to encode five symbols is 0.6 digits per symbol. And if we convert that to the number of bits per symbol using um, the relationship between decimal and binary, we find that um, x would be 1.99 bits. And again, comparing that to the theoretical maximum, theoretical maximum is 1.92 bits. Um, let's do another example. Um, the sequence A1, A1, A1 can be encoded as what number? Um, this is a fairly easy one. Um, again, we divide up the number line. Um, A1 is the value from 0 to 0.2. Um, the second interval, again, goes from 0 to 0.2. And 20% um, up is 0.04. <clears throat> so our um, number is somewhere between 0 and 0.04 and um, the final interval goes between 0 and 0.04 20% up is 0 0.008 so <coughs> this final result is any number between um, 0 and 0 0.008 so we could use, let's say, 0 0.004. Let's look at another method of <coughs> um, lossless coding called LZW coding. Um, LZW coding, um, let's see if I just get my arrow back. This also encodes short sequences of data. Um, and it's widely used in these major standards such as GIF, TIFF, PDF. It works by creating a dictionary of code words on the fly, really, just through one pass through the data. So it doesn't have time to build a histogram. It simply notes what sequences it's seen before and assigns code words to represent them. So um, it uses a um, dictionary of 512 words and for an 8-bit image the first 256 words are assigned to the values 0 through 255 and as sequences are discovered new code words for example are assigned to the values 256 through 511 so for example the code word 256 might represent the sequence 126 126 so let's take an example um, here's a image of 4 by 4 image. We're going to scan through this from left to right, top to bottom. We first initialize our dictionary. We fill the first uh, 256 elements as shown. 
Next, what we do is we look through the sequence, we look through the image point by point. So um, we'll see the value 39 first. And um, it's just a 39, right? Next, it'll, it'll visit the next 39. And it, it will output a 39, but it will also create an entry for that sequence in case it sees it again. So, so code word 256 is now assigned the, to the sequence 3939, as shown here. Next, we um, encounter the value 126, um, and it will create a code word to represent a 39. Uh, 126 as shown here. So note that it, uh, it doesn't use that code word right away, it uses the next time it sees it. Um, so for example, but when I get to the next row and see a 3939 again, I can, I can replace that with a 256 and so forth. So as a, after uh, building the dictionary for this entire image, it would look like this and these are the values that would be uh, saved.